everyone and a very very warm welcome we have this uh, beautiful uh, very very thought provoking heart filling uh, chat that we've planned with pete uh, pete is a I, I call him an institution in himself actually with, with all the beautiful uh, videos and, and podcasts his writings his sharing with we've already received we already have uh, had the privilege and the honor of uh, uh, being able to absorb and imbibe. And uh, what we've uh, got for you are uh, these thoughts and observations and uh, his words of wisdom. And we intend to bring you uh, films and clippings and uh, bits and bobs of all these very uh, potent, uh, full of learning uh, little films. And I hope and pray that you get some answers in whatever we are sharing and feel free to uh, go to our website, the Michael Newton Institute website, uh, go and check out our YouTube page, our Instagram profile. And there's so much that we're intending to bring for you. So uh, stay tuned, follow us, uh, share whatever is touching you, whatever you resonate with. And we are hoping and praying to keep bringing for you uh, meaningful, inspiring, motivating words of wisdom from various wonderful souls who are contributing selflessly towards the collective consciousness of compassion and love that is such a need of the earth. Hi, Pete. Lots of sunshine and love from Dubai for you. Nice to see you, Indrani. It's wonderful to be here for our conversation. Thank you. And uh, on behalf of all of us here, I just wanted to say a huge thank you for being with us today. And we're looking forward to you sharing with us your thoughts, uh, your observations, any guidance, any words of encouragement for all of us. It's great to be here. And I never want to miss an opportunity to talk about this incredible work that we do. Thank you. Uh, Pete, you know, we've, uh, if we really look at the last two years, 2020 and this year, 2021, uh, we've, we've been through so many different emotions. You know, we've seen the panic, we've seen the stress and anxiety, we've seen the grief, we've seen a sense of loss, helplessness, hopelessness. Uh, but in 2021, what was very uh, clearly visible is there's a lot of fatigue we sense and feel yeah. in people, the emotional fatigue, the mental fatigue, the physical fatigue. And uh, it's very palpable all across. And we're just a few weeks away and we're going to be stepping into a new year. And we always think of a new year with uh, a sense of anticipation, hope. Uh, we'd love to know what your thoughts are about what we are leaving behind and what we are stepping into. Well, Indrana, we already know that this is a really tough school. I mean, Michael's books showed us that. And, and as we do more of our sessions, that's confirmed all the time. So this is a really tough school, planet Earth. And we're going through one of our toughest times as well. And really, this is the time for courageous souls. Now, I often say this to people. If you are here now in these times, then you must be a courageous soul to incarnate in one of the most difficult schools at one of the most difficult times to help us move through into this new consciousness. I do feel that the energy is shifting and I think that there's been um, an, a reset of consciousness in this planet and for all of humanity. And we're seeing more and more signs of this all the time. The reason that I say that is that so often over the years, a client has said to me, I came here to be part of a shift of consciousness. Now, if that client is saying that to me in LBL, then clearly it's going to happen in their, in their lifetime. And here we are. We're in the thick of it. And I believe that there are so many signs that this is happening and for Life Between Lives work to actually become available over the last, I guess it's about 50 years since the first one. This is so timed with this evolution of consciousness that as we understand more of who we are, 
we can let go of some of the human aspects that have been holding us back because some of the things need to be left behind for us to evolve further on this planet. And what's happened over the last 18 months has brought that opportunity right into our line of sight. So true. So, so true. So true. So if I was to ask that from what I'm picking up, one of the biggest uh, energy that we carry into 22 is courage because then courage gives us that strength, that resilience. It gives us the power to connect to that potential that is sitting in each and every one of us. And that brings yeah. me then to the understanding of consciousness. When we talk about consciousness, and it's an oft uh, used word these days, and then sometimes we, are we really always using it in the context that as a soul we should? So what would that big picture be? Well, if you've got to have a model of the universe, you need a really simple one because we complicate this stuff. I mean, quantum physicists are out there looking for the theory of everything. And if you're going to have a theory of everything, if they make it too busy, then people aren't going to be able to understand it or where they fit. For me, it's quite simple. I like to think that everything is energy. And the whole infrastructure of the universe is energy. But consciousness is the lifeblood that brings it the colour and the texture. It's like the energy is the, uh, the threads in the tapestry of the universe, but it's consciousness that brings it the colour. And what we do is we take our awareness to the different threads to learn different things. And as you know so well from our work, you know, a client will come in and they'll see us and they'll be, you know, they'll be John, who'll be just a normal guy that's come for his, uh, his session. And then John will go into his early years. Then he'll go before he's even born as John. And we'll talk to him about why he incarnated into that body when he's in his mother's womb. And we'll have some great interactions there. Then John is off in another lifetime. And uh, as he moves into a past life, he becomes somebody else again. And then he moves beyond that through a death scene and into the spiritual realm, and he becomes his soul self. Now, all of this is John. So John's consciousness is the most wonderful example of being multidimensional. And we are all like that. It's like this body that we're in, it's not a prison for our soul. It's a portal to our magnificence. And what that does is... Once we unlock this human self and we get just a little bit out of the way, there's a richness to us that helps us to know that our own unique consciousness is multifaceted, multidimensional, and all of that is available through this human being that's there in the chair. So it's like we're gateways to a greater consciousness because we are that greater consciousness. Yeah, 